Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're gonna make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Two years ago, San Antonio Lee's boys soccer team won the 2021 6A Boys Soccer State Championship, setting off one of the most memorable celebrations in all of UIL history as the Volunteers won their first team state championship in any sport in roughly 50 years. The 2023 Volunteers are a team that very well could end up back at Brokelback Field if they can get by the rest of Northeast as well as Austin Lake Travis who beat them last year on the way to the state championship. This year's team, very defensive. In fact, over the last several years, the Volunteers have won more than 99% of their matches when they score at least one goal. When we are not able to score, uh, we try to uh, looked at the situation. If we are not receiving too many tags, constantly we put uh, myself in the striker position to try to score. And just that's it, his confidence of myself to score, and that's my job. In fact, Lee has won or drawn 101 of their last 102 matches when they've scored a goal dating back to January 2019. One big reason why is this guy. Meet Jesus Blanco. He is to soccer what Shoei Otani is to baseball. Otani is the first baseball player to pitch and hit full time since Babe Ruth. Blanco is a rare combo of goalkeeper and striker. Being a goalkeeper and then in the second half a striker is difficult sometimes, but we have been working on that. And as I said, we have to uh, check the situation we're playing. And as we were receiving, any situa dangerous situations, that's why we put it, we, they put me as a striker. He's a goalkeeper, striker, and even a translator. Earlier this year against San Antonio Marshall, David Soler scored two goals in his varsity debut, and Blanco translated the post-match interview. Tiro libre, muy bueno. Eh, realmente lo único que re realicé fue el cabezazo hacia la izquierda, y fue un gol. Uh, the second goal was header to the left, the hoping that it's goal. And the second goal, uh, he thanks me for the assistance and he enjoyed being his first varsity game. David Rogers is the manager. He's won state titles at Bernie, Bernie champion, and two years ago at Lee. Really, we're just kind of working in an emergency situation because he, he's a phenomenal finisher. He had that nice header on the, on the cross. And um, to me, it's like if you don't work it, you know, and then just work it all of a sudden when you need them, um, you're not going to be prepared. So to me, it's like I'm blessed that he can play both positions. And if we're in an emergency situation, I feel confident he can get us a goal since he was that starting striker when we won state. Our team is a good team with possession, but we have to develop a mentality of, uh, of the one to win. We need to hustle to score because, of, as you said, our team is really good defensively, but in the attack, we just have to change our mindset and try to score more. Lee would potentially run into Austin Lake Travis in round three. Those two have been to the state finals the last three years and each has a title. The difference between the two years uh, team is that this team, I think, is younger. We have a lot of people that is freshmen and sophomore. A lot of uh, possession instead of two years ago. And I think that's our our sacred key there, the young people, to achieve that what they want. We want to be a state champs, and that's why, that's what we're training for. Rogers isn't afraid to make changes, which sometimes includes putting Blanco on offense and bringing in another keeper. If you're not performing, then uh, you're going to sit down, and we're going to go with the next guy that's willing to put out the energy and the effort. They just need to have that shoot first mentality in the final third. And, uh, you know, it looks like sometimes they're playing possession in the final third rather than going to goal. So sometimes they're playing possession without a purpose. And we need to be shooting in, in that final third. And I think the more shots you get on frame, you're going to have more opportunities, obviously. And they've got to have that mindset. And if they put it all together again, maybe retiring athletic coordinator Danny Closet will get to run around Burkleback with a victory cigar in his mouth again. And maybe this time he'll light it. Reporting from the pitch in San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.